comment on that? I mean, it seems that Vermont stands alone in its um, uh, claiming authority for this plan. Um, ultimately, isn't this about whether the state has the control to say no in another 20 years of Vermont Yankee? Well, we can only prevail if Vermont law is, uh, is upheld. This is a case of, of potentially national significance. I mean, uh, not only with the nuclear power industry watching this case closely, but an awful lot of states are, and state legislatures have been watching this case very closely to see whether this is a situation where Vermont got ahead of other states, uh, but uh, was, that a, was that a mistake, or was that a very good uh, public policy decision by the Vermont legislature, which other states might well uh, seek to emulate going forward? Has this point been litigated before, this idea of who truly holds the cards of relicensing feds or state? Uh, there are any number of cases uh, that relate to federal power uh, in this uh, area of the law, but uh, not uh, any cases directly on point that would be controlling in this litigation. What will your argument be in that case? Why does the law have power? Uh, I'm going to make the arguments in federal court uh, in, in Vermont. The nature of the arguments I've sort of described here, but the chapter and verse, whether it's case law or otherwise, and specific uh, statements, uh, agreements, <coughs> other evidence, uh, we'll, we'll present in court. Not yeah. chapter and law, but it, <coughs> they're claiming this 1983 Supreme Court decision uh, allowed, said that, state, that, that only the federal government has that authority. Uh, we will be offering case law in support of our position. When will you file a response? I, I just want to say a word to, to, to Terry on, on the question I just raised. I do think it's worth mentioning that in my conversations uh, that myself and Senator Leahy, uh, Senator Sanders, and Congressman Welch had with the chair of the NRC, it has been made clear that the NRC does not believe that Vermont doesn't have authority over the future of our nuclear power plant. They do not intend to file suit. They do not intend to join the case. They do not intend to stand in the way of the clear right of the state of Vermont to determine our future. Have you been careful to avoid invoking the safety issue? Because this complaint talks about the state coming to safety as a lever against uh, relicensing. Vermont has no jurisdiction over safety. That is the NRC's purview. And we have jurisdiction over a number of areas. Safety isn't one of them. Therefore, I don't talk about safety. It's not my concern. It's a concern of the NRC. Bill, for several months you've been trying to uh, decide whether you believe energy executives uh, can tell the truth. Uh, can you update us on what you've found and will the results of your probe have any bearing on this federal case? We are continuing to take a look at the issue of whether any of Vermont's criminal laws were violated by energy personnel and the, uh, giving testimony about the existence of, or lack of existence of underground piping carrying radio nuclides. Uh, it would not be proper for us to be intermingling the a civil issue, which this is, with the criminal issue. Uh, we are continuing to work on the the criminal investigation, I can assure you and everyone that we are not using the same personnel to look at the criminal side of the equation from those who will be working on this matter. Uh, we would hope by later in the spring to have reached a decision on the criminal uh, issue. Are you hired? Is there going to be, are there outside counsel, outside lawyers working on, on this preemptive case? Uh, thus far, we've been doing it internally to our office. We have several. Uh, members of the team uh, pulled off other assignments to work on this. We've also been working closely with attorneys from the uh, Department of Public Service. Uh, we have met with the governor uh, in anticipation of the lawsuit being filed and received his strong assurances that whatever resources we need to fight this fight effectively, uh, to please ask. and. Uh, we will, we will do so if and when we need outside resources to assist us. So what will it cost if this goes on and on? Well, that, that's obviously impossible to project. We would prefer that energy follow the laws of state and not force us to spend 
precious taxpayer dollars that funding a suit against Vermont laws that both they and we agreed to and they and we understand. But as I mentioned, the state of Louisiana doesn't do business the way we do business in Vermont. How many lawyers internally are on the case? Uh, right now we have uh, three from my office who have been working uh, pretty much full time for uh, uh, weeks and weeks. Uh, we have had meetings as recently as last week, quite apart from the ones we've had already today, talking about uh, the timing of issues and uh, bringing on the, getting bringing more help to bear. Uh, we have a case next week being argued in the U.S. Supreme Court, and uh, so we have some uh, legal, very able legal horsepower that we would be able, if necessary, to move over onto uh, this case in the uh, in the immediate future. Uh, but it's it's a formidable team, and as I said, uh, Commissioner Miller and her, her staff have been helpful to us. They have some very able lawyers in that department, also. Why, why do you think Entergy went ahead with the lawsuit when they told you a few weeks ago that they could just keep operating the plant? I mean, is that an indication that the state has a shot at this, or what? The state definitely has a shot at this. <laughs> <laughs> I can't let that one go by. <laughs> Thank you. The state definitely has a shot at this. I can't let that one go by without responding. <laughs> you know, uh, if I could... Uh, what Energy Louisiana was going to do and why they do it, I probably would give up my day job. The fact of the matter is, this is a company that doesn't do things the way we do in Vermont. In Vermont, we tell the truth. In Vermont, we follow the laws. In Vermont, if we support a law, we certainly follow the law. Show you the press clips of Energy supporting the law that Governor Douglas signed that they're now suggesting isn't legal. I mean, this you can't make this stuff up, team. You know, we've all become, over the years, uh, a bit jaded by Energy Louisiana's behavior, you know? Say under oath that pipes don't exist, the pipes leak. Now we got tritium and other nuclear substances in the ground out of Wyndham County. Say under oath that, you know, they're going to follow them out laws. They don't. They claim that water cooling towers, it was just a little minor mishap, that someone leaks a photograph of these towers gushing water and falling out all over the place. So, you know, you wouldn't have creed your old lawnmower that way. And they suddenly admit that, well, maybe it was a little more serious than what they suggested. I mean, the list goes on and on. The fact of the matter is, Vermonters, I suspect, share my disappointment that a company who said they would follow our laws, who supported the laws when they got signed by the governor who supported the plan. Now are asking us to spend taxpayer dollars because they don't like the outcome of the decisions that were made by Vermonters. Let's be honest about this. That's what's going on here, team. And team of Louisiana doesn't like the little state of Vermont telling them how to do things in Louisiana. They do not care about farmers. They care about their stockholders. They care about their bottom line. They care about running an old, aging, leaky plant beyond its designed life. These are big issues, and we should all share our concern that we have a company like that operating in Vermont. Bill, are the, are the jobs at Yankee power rate that uh, they've offered most recently, which uh, utilities do you think is pretty attractive. Are those material to this, to this case at hand? That's a question for the governor. Uh, the, the legal case. I'm, I'm sorry? The legal, are those <coughs> material to, to your legal uh, It doesn't case. immediately come to mind to me that they're material. Uh, we'll see what is in the court uh, filings. Uh, the issue for us is actually quite simple. Vermont law is clear. They acknowledged uh, in very approving ways Vermont law. They signed agreements to abide by Vermont law, and they're seeking to operate 
contrary to Vermont law and contrary to their own agreements and contrary to their own public statements. That's what seems to me to be the heart and soul of this lawsuit, and that's what we're going to suggest uh, at the district court level and beyond if necessary.